Thanks, Dominique. Virginia does not have a legal limit to how much money can be donated to state candidates. This is something that has sparked heated conversation across party lines. NBC 29's Anahita Jafari shows us concerns surrounding a recent donations. Anahita? Reports say so far this year, Dominion Energy has contributed more than $1 million to politicians. According to the Virginia Public Access Project, Dominion Energy gave $560,000 to Democrats and $640,000 to Republicans. It's the deepest corrupt problem in Richmond and has been for years. Virginia's 57th District's Democratic delegate Sally Hudson says this is not a surprise. Dominion Power has long been the single largest donor to both parties in Richmond and the practice should be illegal. Delegate Hudson is among other legislators trying to stop this. She says it is a two-way street. Politicians have no business accepting money from the corporations that we regulate in Richmond. J. Miles Coleman works at the UVA Center for Politics. They're still a big player, obviously. It's, it, you know, there are some millions of households that they provide electricity to and services to. So um, it's, going, of course, going to be a big player for state politics. And probably from a strategic standpoint, uh, you know, even though they would get some sort of complaints from Democrats, they would often donate to both sides. Coleman compares it to betting on both sides of a horse race, saying it would cover their initiatives either way. He says Clean Virginia, based in Charlottesville, acts as a counterweight to Dominion's influence. They're spending several million in primaries and making endorsements. NBC 29 reached out to Clean Virginia. In a statement, it said, quote, Virginia's largest public electric utility, Dominion Energy, utilizes campaign donations and political influence to shape the regulator's environment to increase profits. With climate change and issues of sort of sustainability becoming more of a Heart issue, you know, an issue close to Democrats' heartstrings. Uh, I think some of them are being a little more selective. Oh, okay, yeah, about who you get your money from. There's a distinction between what the party takes and what individual candidates take. And I know there are more Democratic candidates who individually refuse campaign contributions from Dominion. Dominion Energy would not talk to NBC 29 on camera. Their spokesperson says the company contributes to candidates from both parties in support of policies that benefit its customers. We have their full statement on our website. Live in the studio, Anahita Jafari, NBC 29 News at 6.